Hello, this is Jamie Rubais. Um, I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to remove a localized color cast. Um, this happens when you're shooting in a big green field. Um, sometimes you will get a yellowish or greenish um, color cast underneath of the shadowy areas of the skin. This is a great tutorial to show you how to remove that. It's really fast and easy. Um, you can also use this same tutorial if you're a newborn photographer and you're trying to fix red blotchy areas on the skin. Um, the same tutorial works well for that. So if we zoom in here, we can see that underneath her chin, uh, there's a big um, yellowish shadowy area under her skin. So that's what we want to fix. So we're going to start by creating a hue saturation layer. I'm going to come up here to this little hand with the arrows and click on that. And if I click in this little area um, where the color cast is, it's going to tell me what color channel I'm working with. So it's actually a red color channel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this first eyedropper tool and I want to click in that area again just to select that color range. And I'm going to select this minus um, color dropper tool. I'm going to click outside the area. And that's basically going to tell um, tell Photoshop that I don't want to select any of the colors in this color range. So if I do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, slide down my hue saturation um, slider all the way down. If I scroll out, you can see that it's um, just selecting specific areas of my image. So I'm going to go right down here to this slider tool. I'm going to um, take this left slider and bring it in until I localize the area that I want to work with. And you can see that it's also selecting a lot of the stuff in the background, so when we're finished with this, we'll have to go back and mask off that area. But basically, it's um, selecting all the areas that um, might have that yellowish color cast happening. So you just kind of want to play with the slider until you get it to where you want it. If I go back up here to my hue slider, I'm going to double click on it really quick to take it back to zero. And now I'm going to slide it to the left. It's going to bring, um, it's going to change that color tone. If we slide it to the right, you can kind of see it changes it to green and then magenta. So we want to kind of compensate for the, um, the yellowish tone that it has. So we want to bring it up just a tad. Um, I usually try not to go above negative 10. So we'll bring it about there. I'm going to lighten it just a little bit. I'm also bring down the saturation just a tad as well. And if we scroll in and then we turn, toggle off um, that layer, you can see that it took away the yellow um, color cast that we had underneath of it. So it just created a regular um, shadow underneath it there and it took away that color cast that we didn't like. So the last thing I need to do is just go ahead and mask back in the rest of the image. So I don't want it to take away any um, color in the back of the image. And again, if we toggle on and off, you can see that all the yellowy areas, there's a little bit um, of fringing under here under her arm. That just helped solve that problem. And that's it.